Hi, today I'm gonna teach you how to install Go Spectre, a really lightweight version of the Windows on your really old machines. First, you need to download the file I linked below and you need to unzip it. And you need to download another file, Rufus. With Rufus, you can create bootable drives on your pen drives. Let me walk you through on how to use Rufus. First of all, it's a portable application, so no installation is required. Simply double click and open the application. And the next step is to insert your USB drive into the computer and ensure that the drive has enough storage capacity. Launch Rufus and you will get an option as I'm showing in the video to select the ISO file we just extracted. Now, for the configuration options available in Rufus, you will get the remove requirement for online Microsoft account, create local account with the name and disable data connection. You can skip these options or keep them unticked if you want them in your windows. The next process is to press start and wait for it to create your bootable drive. done with our PC now moving to our old PC you need to turn it on and go to the boot menu. Boot menu depends on the manufacturer you can press either F2 or F10 or maybe like HP or Dell is it like F9, F12 etc. You need to check up with your manufacturer you can just google it. When you enter the boot screen, you can see a list of drives. Choose the one inserted and plugged in and hit enter. Then you will see the windows logo appear and if you see animated dots, everything is fine. You will now find Ghost Spectre booting up. Now click on the windows logo on the bottom left corner and you will be asked to select your language, time, keyboard, method and configuring all these things. Click next. Next you will see a button with different versions of Ghost Spectre. Compact, Compact plus Defender, Superlight, Superlight plus Defender. I will suggest you go with Compact plus Defender as Superlight is known to create some problems for some people on Reddit. Next you will have to select the drive where you want to install the operating system. It's better to format the drive first before installing any version. Then you can finally click on next button to start the installation process. In a couple of minutes, the OS will be installed successfully. This time depends on your storage type. If you are using a hard disk, it will take longer than if you are using a SSD. 